world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I've shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live on the spectrum. Other times I like to give my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media. And finally I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this blog I would like to continue to talk about my experiences of living on the spectrum and dealing with and really understanding when someone says something that they mean and they mean what they say versus someone that says something that feels good at the time and lets that promise go in one year one year and out the other but um, I really wasn't that important with to I wasn't important to them to be again with and I want to give a scenario so let's say I have someone that um, has um, invited me out for coffee and I'm ecstatic about it and we set the time for uh, such and such coffee shop and we're going to uh, sit and discuss what's going on in our lives and I'm looking forward to it and so uh, we set the date for next week at this time so I call them and confirm because I don't hear anything and I say are we still on for coffee at such and such time and of course I get a brush off response like uh, Oh yeah, I know, I promised that we'd go out. Unfortunately, um, I have to fix my uh, aunt's car. Um, we'll do it next week. And uh, so I, I agree to it. And then uh, next week rolls around and I get the same story or the same song and dance. And then the week after that follows with another. And I wanted to mention that when somebody makes a comment like that, they say something that they don't mean. I take it very seriously. In my mind, it sticks. It's concrete. And of course, it's to that person, they don't care. And then they wonder why in the world I go into a, such uh, a meltdown and why in the world I end up having a panic attack and why I'm screaming at them, why I'm yelling at them. And I wanted to give you an example. This was uh, after high school graduation. I had um, made plans with someone who was supposed to be my friend. And, uh, of course, she and I both discussed along with her mother and my mother as backing up witnesses that uh, my friend would come and sleep over on uh, the Monday after my graduation. And uh, she agrees, or she agreed, and, uh, well, Monday came along and I was waiting to uh, get a call from her to let me know when she was coming over. And, of course, um, she did call me, but she gave me a very phony hello. It was, hey! come today and I said are you um, I said are you sick and she goes no I have a court date tomorrow I got a speeding ticket on my learner's permit and so I of course I believe that let's do this tomorrow so we made plans for the next day and um, I had the day off work and everything and uh, of course uh, she was gone all day and I waited and waited and waited and I called her back to confirm to see if she was sleeping over and um, she picked up the phone and I said uh, hey are you still coming over uh, oh no no I'm sorry it's raining too hard so I can't come over right now maybe it's better if we do it tomorrow so again we agree we postponed for the third for uh, maybe the uh, the second time and of course the next day came along and I called up to confirm what time she was coming over and her mom picked up the phone and I told her that uh, we that I was expecting her daughter and I said would three o'clock be okay and her mom was silent for five seconds and it was I don't know you'll have to confirm that with my daughter just a sec let me get her so she went to get her daughter she came back and um, gave me the gerbil for her daughter and said, can you call back in the next 15 minutes? My, she's putting her makeup on right now. So of course I agreed to it and I fell for that. And I called back and they supposedly were not home. And I called back uh, maybe five or six times and then maybe about 30 minutes later, she supposedly wasn't home. She ran off with her boyfriend. So of course I very quickly grew frustrated with that. And I mean, I lashed out at her um, for the rest of the summer for what she had pulled on me. And, and that's because I had taken everything that she said seriously. And again, I mean, it is difficult for me to understand when someone says things that feel good at the time versus someone that makes a promise and keeps a promise. So, 
Anyway, if you have any questions or commentary, do not be afraid to call up uh, to uh, comment below. I'm Maya Sundermeyer.